to a new vlog. It's currently Monday the... What day is it? 17th? Maybe something like that, 16th, 18th, something like that. I'm on a holiday, so it doesn't matter. I have a week of work now. I was saving my vacation days to have a little break in October and I'm loving it. Uh, and I love that today is the first day only. So I have a full week ahead and I don't have any big plans. I'm just gonna stay, stay at home, do a lot of homey things and autumnal things and meet friends and uh, stuff like that. But in the last vlog, I promised you a home haul and I was a bad vlogger, I forgot to do it. Well, I didn't forget it, but I just didn't have time for it. And I'm doing it now. Uh, before that, I had to go and change my shirt. Um, I don't know why, but I'm boiling. I've just been walking too fast and picking up things and <laughs> stuff. So uh, now I'm a bit more comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna do a little home haul. I've bought lots of new dishes lately, mugs, glasses, uh, candlesticks that I've been after for years. So I'm gonna show you, I finally got, got my hands on them. So uh, let's do a little, little, little teeny tiny home haul. So first of all, the candlesticks. Uh, these are a Finnish brand called Itala and they make this candlestick uh, collection called Nappula and I've wanted the brass ones for years, but they were out of production for a long time. And uh, also, does this new hair make me look a bit red, or is it just a camera? I hope it's just a camera. <laughs> um, yeah, I've wanted the brass ones for ages, but they were sold out. And then they were out of production for years, I think, in here in between. And I've tried to search them like from flea markets and thrifted and from Facebook marketplaces and stuff like that, places like that. But uh, I haven't had any luck and now they took them back in production and I haven't opened these yet so I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, let's see. I bought the both sizes when I had a chance because I think they go well as a pair. Uh, oh, this is the taller one. Oh, I hope it's as pretty as I think it is. The thing is that these are probably still quite shiny, but they will only get better with time one day. Get a bit. Ooh. Yes. How gorgeous is that? Let's open the other one. Years of hunting is coming to an end. Weird feeling. <laughs> Here's the smaller one. I'm gonna go and help my friend move. Uh, well, they're not moving yet, but they're starting moving packing tomorrow and today, so I'm gonna go there tomorrow to help her. So I was thinking I'll save these packages for all of their <laughs> glasses and stuff and take them with me. <laughs> Here is the smaller one. Oh my god. Oh, they're perfect. <gasps> they were pricey, but. I, I find them worth it. They're so pretty and I'm gonna have these forever. <gasps> okay, success. First one was success. Second thing I have to show you guys is... Uh, I don't know how many of you have heard of the Finnish brand called Marimekko. Marimekko, you write it. And they are quite... They are international these days. Uh, they do lots of graphic designs, different kinds of graphics, very colorful and black and whites and stuff like that. Well, I've been collecting the same mug shape for years, uh, but with different patterns. And this autumn they came out with a beige dotted pattern that I loved. And I thought like, maybe for the first time ever I could actually buy multiple of the same. <laughs> uh, because all of our mugs are, they are the same size and shape, but they have a different print. So. I'm, I'm happy to have a few few uh, similar ones. So I bought six of them and I already have one of these. So I have seven of the same print now. And I chose seven because I thought six is a good amount and there's one spare if anything breaks. Although I've never managed to break one of these mugs, but still. And the design. How gorgeous is that? I don't know if the color comes yeah, the color of the mug is a bit reddish on the camera too, so maybe it's not just my face and hair. <laughs> but uh, it is that perfect co uh, cold beige shade. And um, yeah, two and a half deciliters. 
so one fourth of a liter. And the funny thing is that I'm obsessed with mugs. And I don't even drink anything from a mug. I, I drink tea maybe max once a month. But we have lots of people coming over who drink coffee or tea and Joe drinks coffee and tea. So I get to do my mug obsession. Yeah, so I got six of these and I have seven in the, in the cupboard. So I really love them. How gorgeous. I've been thinking I have to go through my um, other same brand, same size, same model, but different print <laughs> mugs and uh, kind of go through them and think, um, decide if I want to sell some of them because they are quite valuable and if they're just sitting in the cupboard, it's not like worth it. But then again, I have a few collectible versions of the same mug, same size, same model, but different prints. They're from times and seasons that they don't make anymore or sell anymore. So I think I'm too like in love with them, even though I don't use them much, that I don't want to sell them yet and regret it later. Anyway, that was my next edition. I almost want to keep them in this one because I know <laughs> we're moving next year. And I know this is stupid, it's October. Earliest that we will move is like six months, so and it pro it's probably gonna be bigger than that, but I, I just, uh, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm one crazy person. Next thing I have got to show you guys is these duvet cover sets from H&M Home. And these are one, one person uh, blankets. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really struggling with English and Finnish this morning. I was just trying to send a long voice message to my friend and could have just as well be Chinese, she wouldn't have understood me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm trying to push hard through this. So uh, this is the most beautiful set I can show you. I'll open it a bit. We basically either have one big uh, duvet for both of us that cover the whole bed. And I have the same, the same sheets for that bigger one. But then every once in a while we, we switch to like single ones for both of us because we both like the blanket during the night. And the big one we have, I don't know the king sizes and queen sizes because in Finland we have different measurements. But um, because the big one is very, very thick and warm, so it's not very good in summer and spring and not even autumn. We should get a thinner one in that big size soon. But um, we haven't used that in a while because of that and we've been using single ones and I saw these same sheets that I have for the big one already uh, in sale, on sale, for sale and I bought them, I'm so happy uh, they basically have this lovely, what is it called in English? It starts with a P, I know that but I can't remember the word um, this little detail, they're just linen, linen cotton mix so it's perfect, it's breathable, it's cool but, um, and it's white, it's very neat, but it has this little detail on the side. And the cutest, um, cutest, cutest pillowcase. I'll show you the pillowcase, it's for sure somewhere here. <laughs> here. Here you can kind of see the, see the detailing. So it's kind of like up in the air. It's not attached. So, uh, I really like these. I'm gonna wash these to get them in the bed as soon as possible. And now I'm really happy that I have these for e either options. So when we use the big blanket or when we use the single ones. This last thing I have to show you is, so basically this style has been uh, available since the 60s. I remember seeing this as a kid in my grandma's house or my great aunt's house. And actually it's, yeah, it's been designed 1968. And it's still relevant. I love these and I've always kind of liked this, but I was never obsessed. I, I was buying other designs from the same brand and and somehow I think last year I drank my my uh, friend collects all of this like vintage Itala vintage uh, Finnish design, Scandinavian design and uh, I was uh, seeing her use these glasses as water glass. They're officially a beer glass, but she was using them as for water when she gave me some and I was like, I was instantly obsessed. Like I, I didn't know this size was available of this design and I had seen the other ones, the smaller ones and they're quite like narrow. 
a more more of a like a cognac or or sparkling wine whatever but uh, i i kind of wanted them for everyday use and when i saw this size i was like instantly smitten i i needed them so uh I, i've been putting off buying them because joe has kind of implied that we have too many glasses but uh when i saw them on offer and they are quite expensive too but they will last forever if if we don't drop them <laughs> um i just couldn't go past them and i was thinking Worst case scenario, I'll put them away in a cupboard and move, use them in, in our next home, which is hopefully bigger some a year from now. Uh, sorry, my English is really bad today. I'm, I'm like ugh, all over the place. Okay, that was a long introduction. Here are the glasses. I bought four of them. And let's open. I'm so excited. <gasps> I know they are not for everybody, but I love them. And I love that the size is so big. But first things first, everybody knows I'm gonna drink coke out of these the most. So I bought four of these. How gorgeous are these? And this is actually almost like a little vase. I just realized I could even use this as a vase. That's everything I have to show you for now. And if I can, I'll, uh, if I can find international links for these uh, items, I'm gonna put them down below in the text box so you can go and check them out. So a bit more about my holiday plans. I am, like I said earlier, I'm gonna stay at home and I'm not going for a trip or anything like that. Tomorrow I'm gonna go help my friend pack for their move, hang out with my goddaughter. She's two and a half now and her little sister and just like we're gonna try to pack as much as possible for them with the kids in our <laughs> feet and what else wednesday what do i have on wednesday wednesday i'm gonna go outfit shooting with jenny thursday morning the same thing and then from thursday to sunday i have uh, client work because i do social media freelancing so i have that for a few hours a day so that's gonna be nice and otherwise I'm just gonna chill and organize home and because that's my favorite thing to do as you guys know um, I just relax and enjoy and just maybe exercise a tiny bit because I've been too tired to do that lately <laughs> but we'll see I'm not making promises one of the things I love doing when I'm on a holiday is making content because I don't often get to do it I only have weekends and weekends are usually full of things so uh, I don't get to do them daytime and uh, so I usually, every time I have uh, any holiday days or vacation days from work, I use some of them for content making and I just filmed a reel. This outfit has probably been already on my Instagram uh, when this video can, comes out. But um, I will see if I will film another one because um, it's a very dark day but I, and I was scared I can't get a good lighting. But it's surprisingly okay, I have a ring light over there, so I might take advantage of the fact that I've had it set up now and everything's ready, I just have to come up with an outfit. <laughs> I actually decided to uh, take a little break from the wheels because it is quite sweaty as you can see, my curls have gone and it's, it's a very moist weather, so I think that's why I'm a bit like... Ugh. But um, I'm gonna now edit last week's vlog. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna move the, all the materials on the laptop and start editing. Hello, it's about... Um, now it's about midday. Um, I've tied my <laughs> bangs up so I can focus. Um, I just received our food order and I didn't realize I could have showed you guys what I ordered. But um, we, did, uh, we do our food order for, for like online groceries about once a week and then I've edited the footage from last week well well it's only a rough edit so far but um, yeah, that's the most annoying part for me then I just add sounds and add like special little effects and stuff and then it's ready to upload for YouTube so I'm gonna try to finish it today and then I've also edited uh, the reel <laughs> Uh, 
I'll, I don't know yet when I'm gonna publish it like is it going coming before or after this video but um you will find it on my Instagram either now or later um I think it's time that I well actually no I'm not hungry because I ate my leftover sushi from yesterday for breakfast like that's completely normal to have raw fish for breakfast but um it was delicious <laughs> So I don't think I'm gonna have lunch yet, but I definitely need a little snack and I'm gonna have a little break, watch friends, and then uh, go back to editing the last week's YouTube. Okay, I ended up editing the whole uh, video from last week and uh, now it's uploading on YouTube, so I'm gonna hopefully publish it today. And I watched a bit of friends and now I'm gonna... How annoying is it, by the way, that I keep saying and then I keep saying like, 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 I mean like, 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 and then I keep saying, uh, <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to learn away from them. I do acknowledge them. Anyway, I also say also. <laughs> now I'm going to finally, finally find time to make a new batch of granola because I, I never buy granola from the shop. I make it from from scratch because it's so easy and you can have variety easily and you can like you know what's what's going in it so uh which is the lousiest excuse from a person who eats the amount of candy that i do but anyway my granola jar has been empty for like two weeks and i desperately need some more i always put this in yogurt and and stuff like that so let's make some more so what i usually use for granola is obviously oats uh, I, I'm not a fan of nuts, but I do like pecan nuts a tiny bit, so I usually cut these into smaller grams. Uh, raisins or dried cranberries. Now I happen to have raisins at home, so I'm going to use them. Coconut oil, vanilla, honey or syrup. Now we only have honey and cinnamon. These are the ingredients and also I've got two different packages of cinnamon here. That's why the color is different. Same with the vanilla. I was crazy cleaning and combining things a while ago. So let's start cooking. Oh, and I will also be putting in uh, sunflower seeds. I usually put these, but I thought I was out of them, but found a bag. with hot uh, oil oh my god this smell guys this smell I'm, I'm crooked I don't even care this smell pecan nuts with like hot butter is how I would describe it even though there's no butter in it it's just coconut oil started to cry because it's not so good. Oh, what's wrong with me? I almost don't... I, I've never actually... I don't know why it smells so good now. I must have put like a bit more... I think I put a bit more vanilla that I used to do before. But it's so good. <laughs> I wish I could send, send you like a smell sample through YouTube. I'm literally just spending the rest of the day mixing and smelling this i'm not gonna even put it in the oven <laughs> now the oils and stuff have been mixed really well and we're gonna put this in the oven this is how it looks before it goes into the oven i'm going to put it in there for 10 minutes then mix it up a tiny bit so that the bottom ones go higher and vice versa and uh, then another 10 minutes so about 20 minutes in total but 
this burns quite easily so uh, I need to keep an eye on it I once burned it <laughs> okay guys it is done I tasted it burnt my tongue but our home smells like Christmas so I'm here for it this is how it looks done so it just gets a bit of more golden color and uh, oh my god I burnt my tongue really bad <laughs> That's what you get for being greedy, but I still need a bit more. <laughs> but um, when you roast it in the oven, it becomes really, really nice and crunchy. And uh, coconut oil and uh, honey mix helps with that crunchiness too. Good morning, guys. It's currently Wednesday. Ignore the mess behind me from the mirror. <laughs> I'm changing the sheets today, so I couldn't bother with the bed. Um... I'm just getting ready to head out to meet my friend Alicia. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to Ikea and a few other shops and then we're gonna go pack their home. Not the entire home, but as much as we can because they are moving next week. So, and I love packing so much, so I volunteered to help. I could just literally, I could literally move just to pack because I love it so much. I love going through like everything and obviously I'm not gonna go through their stuff. I'm just gonna pack what she asked me to pack, but anyway. Uh, it's ah, oh, I love it. So <laughs> I'm gonna go help her pack and just have a nice day with a friend. Here is my outfit of the day: a balloon sleeve shirt. It's not as wrinkly as it looks on the <laughs> mirror light. Just some grey mom jeans, loafers, and a black bag, and a sage green trench coat in case it gets cold outside. But I'm gonna go by car, so. I might not need it. Look at all of these leaves. Autumn has gone by so fast. I just had to get some gas. Uh, I know this is absolutely spoiled of me to say, but Getting gas is my like like my <clears throat> least favorite errand in the world to do. I'd rather wash the toilet five times a day than get gas. Ah, I just hate it so much. I hate that it's. I don't know what I hate about it. I'm just spoiled. Uh, okay, but anyway, now we have gas, very expensive gas, and I'm just gonna get going. All right, I'm getting closer. I'm carrying all of that packaging material. <laughs> that I saved for this purpose that we can use for cups and mugs and stuff. Yeah, great. Uh, that's a great way to recycle. <laughs> okay, we decided to start with shopping. Here's Alicia getting hey. the baby things. <laughs> and uh, at first we're going to Rusta, which is uh, like, a, I don't know how to describe it. You can buy everything there for your home. And then after that, we're going to Ikea and then a few other stops. And then it's packing, packing, packing. Here's the baby mama doing her thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our first round is done in Rusta. Uh, she spent a lot of money. <laughs> and now we're in Ikea. Oh, it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Alicia's trying the burger and I'm having my traditional meatballs. Okay, we just finished our food and now we're... What are we looking for upstairs? Uh -huh. I don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet, so... <laughs> Apparently things outside her list. <laughs> but... Uh, I went here like last week or a week before and they've redone a lot of the rooms upstairs. They were really nice. So, new sheets. We have a cutest little shopper with us here. Her mommy is on the phone. I think we're heading downstairs soon. Oh, 
Oh, is it that one? That's very too small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of the shopping is done. I'm sitting with two massive frames. <laughs> Alicia's driving and I, I think it's, it's 10 to 2 now, so we've done three and a half hours of shopping. <laughs> so the actual packing hasn't even started, but we're on our way there now. And we're gonna be super efficient, aren't we? You're so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Ready to go sleep. <laughs> yeah, no sleep, no sleep. No, only packing. Okay, we're just stopping at a grocery store. Alicia's picking us some packing Coca-Cola Zero and which is my holy holy drink that gets me going. And baby's asleep on the back seat, so I'm checking out on her here and uh, then we're gonna start packing. Yay! My mascara is all over my face. <laughs> we are two broken people. <laughs> oh, I didn't even show you. <laughs> but we've packed. Um, we've done like one power there, and you we'll for those old towers and those. And we've done like 15 at least. Maybe 20. Mm. Maybe 20. Girl power. Our little assistant is here. Chilling, oh, it's not focusing. <sighs> All right, guys, I just got home from Alicia. I'm exhausted. We spent three and a half hours shopping for home stuff and uh can't even count at least four hours packing four and a half hours maybe uh but i loved it it was lovely to spend like quality time with my friend and get a lot of like active things done we managed to pack at least 20 boxes i think and uh at least one bag of yeah yeah one bag maybe 20 boxes 20 25 something like that so i I really feel like a superwoman and Alicia's mom called a superwoman when she ever uh, arrived with their toddler that she was babysitting so oh <laughs> uh, now I'm just currently waiting Joe to come home this is actually our uh, official anniversary today I don't I can't remember I'm, I'm so tired I can't remember if I told that in the morning but today is the official wedding day I'll insert our wedding, one of our wedding photos here. And this is another favorite. <laughs> uh, it's crazy that time has gone so fast. We got married three years ago. In secret, we only told our parents and like one or two friends. And just went to the courthouse and got married. It was really nice. Uh, at the time we were thinking that like at some point we will throw a party for our for all of our friends and stuff but uh then again then covid happened then life has happened and now when it's been so long it feels like is there a point to put that amount of money in anymore when we could use it for like a part more like bigger apartment or whatever but um but then again i know it would be lovely so maybe when we have our fifth anniversary in a few years or something like that <laughs> or 10 years <laughs> then we can have a massive like wedding experience we were just talking that like i think we both just want a very chilled night chilled night and um just watch some friends and uh, eat takeout so i've ordered a sushi <laughs> uh this is how married we are he did suggest that we would go for a dinner on thursday but 
then we already kind of celebrated last weekend with the hotel and stuff so i i really don't mind this so look this is the perfect anniversary for me so sushi and tv and sofa cuddles it is i just wear my favorite jammies um these are actually from primark and i can't believe these are my f these are literally my favorite they're so comfy they're like soft viscose material and just i feel like they look nice too like neat and stuff so i wish i would have bought like five pairs <laughs> of this these in august because i keep using these all the time they're in the wash all the time and they've lasted quite well like in wash i accidentally once washed them a bit too uh in a bit of a too hot temperature so it did get a bit tighter it was a bit looser earlier but uh thank god i had taken a bit of a loose size i'm heading to london again in december so i'm really hoping they would still have this although when it's primark probably not but something similar because i will buy many many pairs of these not pairs but sets <laughs> oh i look so tired my skin and my under eyes and everything bear with me guys before i got home i picked up the most exciting parcel that uh, I can't show you just yet because there's a teeny tiny chance I will have to return it but I will find out this week and I'll, I'll, I'll promise I'll show you uh, I'll show you what's in it next week latest I'm so excited I know this is so annoying this is so annoying but I will just have to check one thing about it first before I can share. And... Oh, Joe just got me the most beautiful bouquet of flowers for our anniversary. How pretty are these? I'll show you tomorrow in like daylight. <laughs> Not every night. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's currently Wednesday. And my hair is a bit crazy because I just did it and I didn't brush the curls open yet because I'm heading to take some pics with uh, Jenny and uh, when it's a moist autumn weather my curls don't last long so I want to keep, give them as much life as possible by not brushing them open too early I've got total four outfits to shoot this time they're in this bag plus on me <laughs> so let's get going Mark this down October the 19th was officially the first day I needed to scrape my uh, front window, which windscreen, which wind screen, whatever it is, the front window, because it was frozen. It wasn't just moist, it was also frozen. So here we go, that season starts now, and then that's gonna be ahead every morning. Yay! <laughs> here she is! Hello! Hello! Good morning! Okay, we've arrived to the city center and we're freezing. It's so cold, it's like plus maybe three degrees now. But we're gonna push it through. This is our first location. We've shot here before. Uh, the trees are always lovely and this fence is like a clear background, so I really like it. We're freezing here <laughs> and this is only the first one. Okay, now we've done two outfits and we're switching to the number three. Yenny is having a bit of a protein <laughs> drink to get going. And uh, this is how the car looks when we're shooting. <laughs> How's the front seat? full of stuff everywhere but um, yeah now we're uh, changing the number three zone and then we've got four in total today so we're more than halfway now okay guys we're done four outfits four freaking outfits in this cold and now we have all the heating in maximum <laughs> <laughs> and we're freezing our asses are frozen but uh Heading home. Oh, yay. Hello, 
guys, it's currently Friday. No, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday afternoon. And I have spent the day so far with Jenny shooting again. We had another uh, photo shoot morning now when we had a chance because we don't know what weather will be next week. So we shot a few pics in the morning and then I had some lunch and watched a bit of friends and just relaxed and now I'm about to leave for my freelance work. I have a few clients that I make content for and one of them is event type thing. So I'm gonna go and make some event content for my client for a few hours. And I'm quite excited. I get to meet one of the biggest artists in Finland, like singer, a famous singer in one and a half hours, actually, or two hours. So that's gonna be exciting. I've, I've been to his gigs and stuff, so it's fun. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do that for the next few hours and I'll probably be home around seven or eight or something like that. Good evening, guys. Uh, it's still Thursday evening. Can you see how tired I'm, I am? Like my eyes are just, oh God. Um, I came home from the freelance job about like an hour ago or an hour and a half and we ordered some Nepalese and now I've eaten and I've sat down for an hour so I'm even more knocked out. <laughs> but I had a lovely evening. I'm so excited that I got to see, got to meet the musician. I've like, I've really liked him for years and years. I haven't been like a massive fangirl, but I've always, always liked him and I like seeing him, seeing him on TV. He's also an actor and, and stuff and he was really lovely. To meet him in person, he was really lovely and nice and just like I imagined. <laughs> I'll have some of that work to do for the next three, day, three days, yeah. Next three days, because now it's Thursday, I have it until Sunday. Uh, and even though I'm so exhausted this week and too bit, way, way, way too busy and overbooked, which is what I always do on holidays, I've been told. Uh, I'm still excited because I really like doing my freelance job and I'm so, so, so fortunate to have it. And it's something I'm passionate about. I, I do content creation. It's really nice. Um, now I'm just gonna finish my Nepalese. It's over here. And watch some friends and go to sleep. I feel like the only thing I tell you guys on these videos is that I'm gonna watch friends, I'm gonna eat food, I'm gonna go to sleep, or, I'm, or that I'm gonna clean and tidy. <laughs> like that's my life basically. <laughs> so I'm so sorry if you came here looking for something exciting. Anyway, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Hello guys and good morning. It's currently Friday. I've had a bit of a tough morning. I've had lots of anxiety, so I've been crying as you can see. Uh, but it's okay. Life is okay. I'm having yesterday's Nepalese for lunch. Um I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. In a few hours I'm heading to my freelance job to do some content production for a client, which I always love. And after that I'm just gonna have a very, very chill Friday evening. And alone, because Joe said that he's only gonna be home around 10ish today, so... I'm gonna enjoy it to the fullest. I love alone time too. And I'm just gonna pamper myself. I'm gonna do facials and just relax. And... Um, all the things nice. I really, really, really want to thank you for watching this video. It means the world to me, you have no idea. And if you like this one, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I know you want to see more. Okay, thank you so, 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 so much for watching, guys, and I love you. Mwah. Have a lovely rest of your day. Here are the lovely anniversary flowers a few days later. Uh, I love the pop of purple with the orange. They're so lovely and autumnal. Ah. <laughs>